let me let me uh, just jo uh, uh, thank uh, particularly Christine on and uh, Daniel Jasper for uh, partnering with us to bring this event, uh, this very eye-opening event. Certainly, I learned a great deal, and I would imagine most of you would share that that sentiment. I, I do hope you will also join me in thanking some of the outstanding staff who helped us uh, put this together. Maggie Nelson uh, just joined PISA 13 days ago and had to learn everything from scratch. Ann Young from the Institute of Korean Studies uh, has also helped a great deal. Uh, Colette Kent and her uh, colleagues from the Public Affairs Office at the Elliott School uh, have uh, helped us to, to keep this uh, wonderful uh, program on course. Uh, but now I'd like to ask uh, Daniel Jasper to uh, close out the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Um, wow, that was uh, an incredible event, certainly. Uh, I learned a lot, and I even wrote the report that you guys all had and uh, covered these issues, but I still learned uh, an incredible amount today. Uh, so I'll keep my comments brief because I don't think that there's much that I can add, but I do want to thank PISA uh, for giving us the space, the time, the energy, the AC today. Um, it was very appreciated. Uh, I want to thank Christine Ahn for doing a wonderful job emceeing and helping coordinate this event. Um, all the, the members of the Korea Peace Network um, and uh, the uh, new Institute of Korean Studies here at George Washington University. Um, just, a, just a few points I think I want to end on. Uh, there's a, a clear common theme amongst all these comments uh, today, and that is the urgency, uh, not just with the overall conflict, um, but with these particular issues. Um, and as William Perry alluded to, we need to have a diplomatic plan. Uh, we have military plans, we do military exercises, uh, but we don't have a peace plan. We don't do peace exercises. Uh, and that's really what we were trying to look at today. Um, we wanted to look at some of the areas that uh, need to be addressed, these unresolved legacies of the Korean War, um, that aren't just important humanitarian issues for these people who are, are living it day to day, but are strategic areas of engagement that can help transform this conflict. Uh, and so I just want to impress upon you all that uh, moving forward, I think that we, should, we need to address this conflict uh, not in, under the parameters of uh, national security, but with an understanding of shared security. Uh, Professor Nan Kim alluded to the fact that, uh, you know, family reunions, uh, bringing home U.S. servicemen remains, uh, helps heal that individual wounds uh, that are really at the root causes of conflicts like these. Uh, so it's clear that we need to start at the individual level. We need to build the human security aspects uh, before we can get to the global security aspects. So I think I'll end there, and I really want to extend a, a huge uh, round of appreciation for our panelists and keynote speakers, and I hope you'll join me in thanking them all. <laughs>